Welcome to this video series of the four major fundamental concepts of programming. What, what we're going to be doing is that we're, we're going to be covering the four major, major fundamentals used commonly in almost all the programming languages out there today with C++, Java, C Sharp, Objective C and all that. The four major fundamental concepts used in each one. And today we're going to be starting with variables. So what is a variable? A variable is something which is used to store and access data. That is what the simple definition of what a variable is. To uh, data which is stored and can be accessed in a program. So let's look at two real life examples. Let's say that you're paying your bills online and you need to enter in a certain amount to pay to successfully pay your bill in the box of the of the application. And that could be a, that could be an application of variables being applied because you're entering a, a number which is a variable that you need to pay in order for, for, the, for the bill to be paid. So that's one example there. Another example of variables is, is input. So let's say for example you're playing a racing game and the, the variable for acceleration is pressing the W button. So when you press the W button what's going to happen is it's going to recognize that variable as an input and then when you're playing that, that, that car racing game, the, the car is going to start accelerating because you've entered in the W variable. So those, those are two definitions, so those are two real life examples of what variables are. Now there are, very, there, are, there are many different types of variables, but I'm going to be covering the four major types. So there's integers, doubles, strings, and booleans. So let's start with integers. So integers are something which are whole numbers. So they can be 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 60, 100. But the thing with integers is that they only use whole numbers. They don't use any decimal places. Which brings me to the second type of variable, which is doubles. So doubles are variables which use decimal places up to two decimal places. So that could be 10.50, 60.90, 100.50, and so on. So, so those are the two different. Those are the two differences between integers and doubles. One uses whole numbers, and the other one uses de decimal uh, decimal points. And then after those two, what we have is strings. So strings are a little bit different from integers and doubles because what strings do is that they hold uh, they hold letters. So it, with string variables, they hold a, a, a series of letters which can be stored and reused. You can, you can even store numbers into it, but the thing is that you need to use quotation marks as I've got as in this example here. So here's an example of declaring a string that I've got over here, which we have, we have string, name, and then we have the quotation marks showing what's going to be, in, what's going to be stored in that string. And then finally what we have is that we have the, 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 final, the final variable type which is booleans. So booleans, what booleans are, it's, it either means either true or false. There's only, there's, only, there's only two things in it, true or false. Let's say for example that, let's go back to a, another video game example. And let's say that your character is, let's say, let's say it's a first person shooter, right? and your character is still alive well that boolean variable would be set to true but if the player had died in the game then that boolean variable would be false because it's because again a boolean variable is either true or false i'm going to be talking about more about about loops in the next about about control statements in the next video but going back to the example of what of this boolean example if that game, if that game is it keeps going and going and going, and it's, gonna, it's saying that it's true until that until the player has died, then that 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 boolean variable would have been turned to false. So there you have it, guys. That that's the, that's the video on what variables are and the four major different types.